Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the next video, if you like the information and content, or if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button, click that little bell icon, that way you're notified when I post new videos, or you can click on that little picture of me and my beautiful wife down in the corner, and that'll get you subscribed too. And with that being said, let's get down to it. <sighs> Coronavirus and cats, just like it says in the video. Just when we thought it was over. Listen to this. Don't want to hear, that's for sure. Your furry feline could possibly contract the coronavirus. Two house cats have tested positive in New York City, becoming the first pets known to have the disease. As it turns out, cats can be more susceptible to the virus than other pets, says Los Angeles veterinarian Jeff Werber. The ACE2, for short, in cats and ferrets is very similar to the one that we have. And it turns out that the coronavirus particle, the SARS-CoV-2, can bind to this protein which then is traveled in the blood and seems to like to set up shop and send those particles to the lungs. Dr. Warber says if you come down with COVID-19, you may want to stay away from your cat so you don't give it the disease. Whether cats can then go on and spread the virus to other humans remains to be seen. If you have a question you'd like answered by a medical expert, email them to us at coronavirusquestions. At well, there you have it. Um, I know when I did my first uh, video on coronavirus, I don't know, a few weeks back, I actually did a live stream and we were talking about animals and so on and so forth. And now here's the proof. Um, your house cat or ferret can actually contract COVID-19. And whether it's through you or possibly if you have an out indoor outdoor cat, maybe that animal can pick it up from somebody else and or another animal for that matter and spread it to you you just heard it um i <laughs> i'm a little stumped by this one um like i said you know i've been in the medical field for 26 years now and this one is just <sighs> i don't know but um just you know something else to worry about i know people are getting really bored at home and i mean you know there's nothing really to do we, we're not allowed to go out to the, the parks or the beaches or anything and now our furry little friends if you let them outside can possibly contract COVID-19 and bring it into your home while you're still at home so you know I've said it in in past videos and I'll say it again this thing is far from over there's still a lot to learn about it and I um, I'm I was actually quite shocked to to hear that. So it, it you know we don't want to get out too quick. We don't want to jump the gun. We don't want to repeat. We don't want it to be worse. And here we've got a situation where our our, our house cats, if you own house cats, can contract the disease and bring it home to you especially if you have outdoor cats. So well, hopefully we'll get a, you know, we'll get a, we'll get a grip on this soon and um we can get back to some type of normalcy, but that just puts a really odd little twist on it and I just wanted to share that with everybody. Um with that being said, be safe, be professional, keep it real and stay healthy.